Y'all got your picture of the little girl with the turtle? I, the turtle, that picture was taken in, in Baltimore City in 1971. The turtle was called Timothy, and the little girl was called Patty Lee, and she grew up to be me. Now, one summer day, um, not unlike today, she was standing out front with one foot on the public sidewalk and one foot on the little postage stamp-sized yard. She was going back and forth saying, our property, not our property. Our property, not our property. Our property, you get the picture. She was troubled. She was trying to figure it out. And no matter how hard she thought about it, she couldn't figure a way that it was fair. She knew that her grandparents had bought the house from whoever had it before, and they bought it from whoever had it before on back to when it was built. But she couldn't figure out how did that piece of land come to belong to any particular person. So she thought back to what she learned in school about the pilgrims and the Indians, and, and she imagined a pilgrim with his musket building a fence and threatening to shoot anybody who came on to what had become his, his property. And it didn't seem right that the animals and the trees who used to belong just to themselves suddenly belonged to him just because he had a gun. And, and if it was wrong for him to do that, then what about the person who bought it from 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 him? How could they then say, this is my property? So, quite by accident, in the course of her childish musings, little Patty Lee happened upon a truth that many adults never seem to quite figure out. Property is violence. So, it's fitting, I guess, that she grew up to be here talking to you today aiming to convince you that things like breaking locks or tearing down cages or um, disabling bulldozers or other methods of interfering with property are in fact anti-violent actions. I also, I also, look, I'm going to run out of time. Um, I also aim to, to convince you that, that demonstrating on a public sidewalk is always okay, no matter what the defenders of the sanctity of private property bounded by those sidewalks might say. All right, property is violence. Listen, the division of the world into countries bounded by borders, policed by armies, has been and continues to be a violent process that hurts both human and non-human animals. The further subdivision of nature into little bits and pieces of property to be bought and sold interferes with ecosystems, breaks up families and habitats of animals, cuts off animals from vital resources like watering holes, Fences enslave and enclose animals and eventually lead to the process that turns animals into little bits and pieces to be bought and sold. Property is violence. I say it's time to tear down those fences and give back the animals their bodies and their habitats. Of course, violence is never okay, because violence, that's the, that, that's the root of our problem. But there's a difference between violence, which is excessive or unjustified use of force, and force, which is sometimes justified. How can you tell which is which? Please don't scare me with the numbers. How can you tell which is which? It's in context. Look at the picture. One day, little Patty Lee was standing at the top of a staircase confronting a screaming, angry, out-of-control adult not unlike those we have seen in undercover cover videos from vivisection labs. And then the adult pushed, short, sharp shove to the shoulders, and Patty went tumbling down the steps. That's violence. 
Now that exact same action, short, sharp shove to the shoulders, would have been justifiable use of force, even heroic use of force, if she'd been standing in the path of a moving truck. Now I tell you these details from my life because I want you to understand that I am somebody who knows what violence is. Take it from an animal who knows what it's like to be hit and hurt and hope, hope, hope that somebody will come to the rescue. Breaking chains is not violence. Tearing down cages is not violence. Tossing a monkey wrench into machines that kill animals is not violence. Carrying a terrified animal to safety, that's not violence. And certainly, picketing on a public sidewalk to expose the violence that goes on behind closed doors could never, ever be violence. You can clap while I figure out what I'm going to say next. I look at the picture. What if she was trapped in that row house and it was on fire? Wouldn't you break down the door to save her? What if she saw that turtle being tortured in the basement of her neighbor's house? Don't you think that she would climb in that window? And don't you think she would break that window if she had to? And don't you think she would match her little muscles against the muscles of the torturer if that's what it took to save that turtle from being tortured? And now what if the little girl or the, or, or the turtle was in a vivisection lab and that's where the torture was taking place? What if that little girl learned that the homes of that turtle and his whole family were going to be bulldozed to make room for fancy houses for people who already had a nice place to live. Don't you think she might put a little sugar or sand into the gas tank? <laughs> Wouldn't she take a monkey wrench to the engine if she could? I think she would. And what if she learned that her neighbor was torturing puppies at his job? Can't you just see her marching up and down the sidewalk with a picket sign? Now, of course, she'd be very careful not to do anything that would scare the dogs or cats or children living in that house or the surrounding houses. But wouldn't she want to say, wouldn't she want to tell the world, this man hurts animals? And wouldn't that be her right? Tell me, would it? <laughs> All right. I, I made um, something like 300 pictures of myself. Um, <laughs> not because I'm so egotistical, but because I wanted to give you something to hang on to, to remember what I said tonight. What I want you to remember is that there's a difference between force and violence. What I want you to remember is that violence is never okay but that force is sometimes necessary, and the distinction always is in the details. What I want you to remember is that property is violence, and that we can and must interfere with that violence if we want a world where the little turtles and the little girls can be safe, happy, and free. Not everybody has to do that work, but we all have to be in solidarity with those who do. So if you ever find yourself getting ready to denounce or distance yourself from the brave and loving activists who risk their own freedom to give animals their freedom and protect their habitats, I want you to look at that picture and remember the things I said today. And if you're one of those brave and loving activists, you know who you are. You know what you need to do. I want you to know you're not alone. And that wherever you go to take truly nonviolent direct action on behalf of earth and animals, 
that little girl goes with you. And now when I stop talking and these people start clapping, they'll be clapping not for me, but for you. <laughs>